All right, guys. I wanted to do a quick video. Do uh, you remember my little trailer that I had built? Well, there's my truck and the, uh, the old camper, or the canopy. I took it off because I went up to uh, somewhere else and picked up this one. As you can see, it's a lot taller. It's a little beat up, more beat up, beat up around along here on the front. Uh, it's pretty good shape. There's on one spot on the other side, up on top where there's a hole that I can mend. I'll have to mend. All the seals seem to be good. Uh, I need to replace the back glass. Probably use some uh, really thick pla uh, plexiglass. Has a wire for this light, which I'll wire up. Uh, I don't know what uh, this thing, uh, this thing here is. It's got another one on the other side. It's got a rack on it. I think I'll probably replace. Uh, it's got spider webs all up in there, so I have to wash it. It's insulated, it looks like. So I have to, if it was warmer, uh, I'd wash it all out, let it sit out in the sun, let it dry. Uh, like, you know, stand it up somehow. It's heavy. But uh, it's got that shelf right here. I'm going to take that out. I think, anyway. So I think I want my head facing that way, and I don't really want it over my head. I might narrow it down, leave a shelf there, and make a cabinet. Saw a couple videos. I'm gonna have to space it up, but I want to build a wooden slide out in here and attach it to it so then I can just be it can be pulled out. I'm thinking about putting that rack in the truck. I don't know that bike rack. Um, so I'm probably thinking like two by fours or something for the sides to space it up. Like I said, I'm gonna make a slide out for it for sure. It's, Insulate it better. Spray some antifungal stuff up in here. Uh, probably run foam down up in there. The expanding foam all in there. Uh, might even paint it in here, just like you know, to cover up some of these rusty things, like with some stop rust stuff. Uh, and I'm probably gonna make a bed over there instead of having the full bed but make it to where I can like maybe flip it up maybe even make it like a bench uh, that I can flip out like a little bit you know and then over here I'm probably gonna build a, I saw a video of a guy that built some stuff I might I'm gonna build a closet space yeah that shelf will probably go closet space up there in the corner uh, and then like a countertop and stuff for uh, some of the cookware and stuff maybe get a futon mattress I don't know lots of lots of plans that window up there slides open I think uh, probably get a little excuse me a little lock like a little latch like with a screw or something excuse me dang I got the burps uh, They'll keep it from opening. Maybe some little sticks. I don't know. These windows don't open. Uh, need to get a lock. Need to fix up the doors. They don't quite shut. Seem to want to shut. But then again, that thing down there, that bar across the bottom is bent. I don't know if you can, can oops, see it. But hangs off the back a little bit, but I can leave the tailgate on. Uh, towing it uh, was a little bit rough. Oh, there's the hole. If you can see it right there, I, it's missing a bar that goes across, but I have it in the Jeep. Um, fix that. 
Oh, there's a latch. Maybe I'll see about drilling all the way through. And then putting, yeah, some kind of latch from the inside. Clean it all up. Get it going. I might build a... I might build some kind of spoiler thing up here. Maybe something that like kind of bends up. I don't know. I don't want to get the tire off. Uh, put a box. I might put the boxes that are on my truck on here. So it adds some weight. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with that spare tire. I don't think I can mount it up inside. I thought about standing it up here on the front. And then putting the box in front of it somehow. But I think I'm just going to flash mount the box as far back as I can. And then do something else with this thing. Maybe mount it up inside. Not too sure though. Can't mount it on the side. I could probably build a... I'm th one of the guys who I told I might go get this thing said I could probably build a rack like that's up on this thing. Put it up there, which I probably might. But I want to build. If I do, I'm going to build it out of aluminum. Maybe because then it'll keep down on the weight of this thing. <clears throat> and I probably will replace these though with steel, or at least uh, maybe these ones that go across. I'm not sure. That one that's in there in the Jeep isn't very sturdy. But I towed it with the white Jeep, did all right, broke down. And what I found, though, so, uh, is when they put the lift on, I think they had to pull the tank. And well, what they did is they took the, <clears throat> I think they took the breather line for the axle, hooked it up to my fuel pump and uh, fuel filter, and so it dissolved. Uh, you know, got all eaten up and eaten through, and so they're sucking air into the system, which caused this thing to idle rough. And I kind of had the suspicion that something was going on with fuel, but wasn't too sure. And it ended up, I ended up shutting it off, and it died. Didn't start back up. So I got under there, and the guy was. I went and picked this thing up from it was generous enough to give me a ride uh, down to the auto parts store which actually wasn't that far I could have walked he took me down I thought it was the crank position sensor changed it that ended up being good so now I got a spare <clears throat> and then uh, we started looking on all the forums and he kept mentioning the fuel pump and then uh, I kept thinking it might be the fuel pump but was thinking it was something else because I wasn't following my, you know, I don't know, I guess premonitions or whatever. And then uh, finally, like, I guess there was a guy, uh, <clears throat> they were saying he was a tweaker or something because he's up on the roof uh, blowing, you know, with a weed, e uh, not weed eater, weed blower, leaf blower. Getting late too, and he was up there doing it. And then he, he came over, that guy, and he's like, "Hey, uh, sounds like it's your, your fuel pump." And he told me a story about his S10, and I was like, "Well, you know what? I'm gonna try it." So I had asked the guy to take me down there again, and uh, got a new fuel pump. So I don't even know if I needed to do that because when I got under there and started taking it out, that's when I realized the line was done. You know, it was all eaten up, chewed up, dripping. So I just changed the pump anyway, changed the lines over. Just kept cranking it and cranking it, kept, you know. Finally, she fired right up. We were able to pull out, and down the road I went. And it was super late. Got back almost at midnight last night, and I should have been back at, like, uh, 2 in the afternoon. But, the, yeah, that's fun stuff. When there's the uh, the wooden.
kit that was in this, I'll probably sell that or use it in the truck. I don't know if I want to put that canopy on that truck. Maybe once in a while I need to get more clamps. Well, actually I'll use those clamps because like I said, I'm going to build a build the slide out. Make this thing a lot nicer. And then I can use this to haul around wood if I slide it out. So, we'll see. I'm going to build it pretty strong. It's going to be heavy. So that's why I want to put the probably the closet space up there. Actually, I'll put the closet here and I'll put uh, some weights and stuff up in there. Like I thought about mounting because I'm going to make the sides go straight in so it just slides in. And I thought about mounting a couple batteries on either side. Uh, and then, of course, right here it'll tuck in a little bit. So we'll see. Yeah, and then I'll insulate it better and cover up these sides. You know, put some antifungal stuff in there so that it kills any fungus that's growing on that uh, felt. Thought about uh, actually taking that other canopy and uh, scavenging some of the top part of it off and using it as siding to block off uh, some of these windows, like this window, that window, just having the front ones. You know, but maybe I want to just build some curtains. And this one will be blocked off by the, uh, uh, what you call it anyway, closet. Get it all up in here nice. Super excited. I want to take it out next year, but we'll see. We shall see. Actually, got more room than what I thought I would. And plus, I'll be able to sit up and get dressed and stuff because I'll have a little bit of a foot area. I want to try and make it so that uh, I got like a good size, you know, full size bed here and sh I should be able to lay straight across. You know, maybe even, yeah, I don't know. I might, yeah, I might, yeah, I'll leave a shelf of some kind up there build some kind of cabinet like I said and I can put stuff there that are a little bit heavier maybe but it'll take time as it always does get these doors to close and lock and I'll be good so all right well I'm got to go in there and take care of those puppies and uh see y'all take care now